So we have yet again another stressful day ahead of us, but that is not going to stop us because I wanna get this thing pretty much fully assembled by the end of the day today. It's about 11 a.m. right now. I just got done responding to some of your guys' comments on the last video. So gonna take a break from comments, jump on this and start getting some stuff knocked out. So what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So the game plan for this guy today is to get this uh, pretty much fully assembled at this point. I have everything here to be able to do it. So we need to start with the external wastegate. Once we get the external wastegate on, we can get the turbo on, then the downpipe, then the turbo inlet, and then we can get this TGV over here on. I can move that guy now that the motor's installed. And then we can get the TGVs on, start running the fuel line, lay down the wiring harness, get all of that set up. It's just, there's a whole bunch of small stuff that we gotta tackle. So I don't wanna spend too much time talking about all of it today. I really just wanna jump into this and start knocking it out. Out. So wastegate, then turbo, then downpipe down there. I need to get that turbo blanket on. I'm gonna try putting the turbo blanket on on the turbo before putting the turbo in the car. Cause last time I tried doing this with the turbo in the car, it sucked to do. So oh, let's get the wastegate on and actually just jump into this. Like I said, don't wanna spend too much time talking on this. I just wanna get this knocked out. So that way uh, we can start driving the car because our tune is one week from today. That today I'm filming this. You guys are seeing this on Saturday. We have a, our, our tune is next Thursday, this coming Thursday. All right, you guys, so we are about an hour in. It is now about 12.15. We started at about 11. Turbo is now in, downpipes on, external wastegates hooked up, turbo inlets put back in. We have alternator, power steering pump. Next up, I think I'm gonna run the fuel line just to get that out of the way so that way I can hide all the fuel line underneath of everything just so it's not like creating a huge mess everywhere. After the fuel line's on, we're gonna do the engine harness. Once the engine harness is on, we'll do the intake manifold, uh, intercooler piping. I don't know if I'm gonna put the radiator in yet because I need to figure out a way to torque that crank pulley down because the fluid dampener doesn't use the same Company 23 crank pulley tool. So I'm gonna have to figure something out to be able to hold that down. The holes on it are threaded. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure something out for that. So let's knock out some fuel line. Let's get that all done. Let's get the wiring harness done. Once that's wrapped up, it'll start looking like a car again. some really solid pro why is my tag like right in my forehead that's not okay i feel like i've been making some really solid progress it's about 1 30 right now we started at 11 that means what we've been going for what two hours two and a half hours or so now and uh we're ready to put the intake manifold on all the fuel line is ran all of the wiring harness is plugged in and like laid out pretty solid progress so i'm hoping this intake manifold which is right there um, goes on just as easily as it did last time so the way that i do this is i've got the studs on the tgvs offset on both sides so that way i can get the intake manifold set on this is going to make the intake manifold a huge pain i already know it's going to it made it a huge pain last time but it wasn't that bad so now that we've got everything pretty much laid out we are ready to put the intake manifold on once the intake manifold's on um i need to figure out a way to crank this down still so i'll figure that out once the intake manifold's on but uh let's let me fight with this turbo inlet for like 20 minutes and get this intake manifold on here so that way we can uh, hopefully wrap this up today. Like I said, pretty good progress. It's almost a fully dressed motor at this point. Uh, I did leave one thing unplugged, which was the crank position sensor, just because once we go to prime the car, we are gonna build a little bit of oil pressure just so that way we can get oil circulating around the engine. So let's get this manifold on.
All right, I feel like it's been a little while since I actually stopped and gave you guys an update of what all has happened, what all is going on. Uh, so I think the last update I said was the intake manifold, I believe. That went on no problem. That just dropped right in. After the intake manifold was on, went ahead and got this AOS put in, just got done running all the lines, getting everything cleaned up nicely, got the oil feed set up for the turbo. So this is a little bit different than what I've done in the past and what I did last time. So we have a T fitting coming off of the AVCS right there. That stainless steel line that you can see without the heat sheath is going to the back of the block. The top one is going to feed the turbo. This is how FP suggests that, well, they suggest using the stock line blocking it off, but there's really not a need. This line just replaces the stock line at that point. So that is all set up at this point. Upper coolant reservoir is in. All AOS lines are plumbed up. You guys might see this and think it's a little funny because it is because I don't have the PCV provision down there for the AOS. So Instead of just running two breather lines to the turbo inlet, I just wide them off into one. I, age, I asked IAG about that a while ago and they said it shouldn't be a problem if I do that. So I need to get a cap for that fitting right there on the turbo inlet. At this point, I think I'm ready to get the throttle body on and get all the intercooler piping and stuff done, but I think I'm gonna wrap up this side first. So I think I'm gonna do the intercooler piping over here, the box, the, the intake box, which doesn't look like it's going to be fun to install, but I need to get that in. Uh, then we'll get the intake in. Once the intake is in, we'll jump over here and we'll start doing this side. So I just feel extremely rushed right now. Our tune is in a week from today and uh, we don't know if we're gonna have problems or not. So I need to get this started. The sooner, the better, just to mitigate any issues because if we need to order anything else to fix any potential problems we need to do it now so let me knock out over here once over here is done we'll jump to this side what fun would any of this be if everything was going smoothly, right? Now it's not a huge problem, but it's an annoying one. I'll show you here in a second, but have the cold side or the hot side, cold side, have this side, this si hot side, cold side, cold side, hot side. This is the hot side. We're on the left of the intercooler. So intake is all in, intake box, the Visconti high speed tuning density speed something kit is all in. Uh, charge piping is in, connected up to the turbo. This guy needs to like go over there, but I was going to do this side. And then I was going to put the throttle body on because I hadn't put the throttle body on yet. And literally, literally, there was no extra tension or force on that bolt. And it was just like, see you later. I'm just going to break off and this is going to be my new happy home. So now we need to go to the auto parts store and get a stud remover. And hopefully the stud remover can pull that out. Luckily, there's enough shank on there where I think I can get a grab on it. If not, we'll drill it out. We'll tap it and we'll uh, we'll put in a helicoil. But uh, it's annoying nonetheless, so let's run to the auto parts store. Let's go grab some stuff and we'll keep going on this. Oh, while I'm there, I might as well see if they have anything to hold that crank pulley down so I can tighten it because I'm still on the hunt for that. Okay, welcome from the future. Once again, it's the next day. Um, that throttle body intake manifold issue really like threw a curveball at me last night. Uh, I was able to repair it, but I can promise you this, that throttle, if that throttle body ever comes off that intake manifold, that intake manifold needs to be replaced. I can tell you that right now, it's sealed up, it's Gucci. It's, um, it's a very messy Gila coil that I used because the bolt did not drill out straight. It drilled out at an angle. Um, it works. Now, as you can very clearly see, the motor is pretty much put together at this point. Uh, we need to drop in the radiator. I just got the uh, crank pulley tightened down. The way that I did it is I just used the old AC belt, uh, wrapped it around the power steering pump, the crank pulley, put some vice grips on it, put the gar car in sixth gear, uh, and then just torqued it down that way. So torque spec for that was 92 foot pounds uh, per what I could find. So that guy is tightened down relatively nicely. It's not going anywhere. The last couple things that we have to do here is get the radiator in, get the fans plugged in, um, fill it up with fluids, and then we can start this thing. So we're gonna start it in the next video. I'm not gonna draw this video out to a whole like first start video also because those typically take another 10 minutes or so to run through those videos, but it's coming along. I also got the cap to cap this guy off up here. I just got the cap back bolted up to the downpipe. So let's get this radiator thrown in and uh, see what this complete, oh, and I need to take care of this power steering line still. It's all right, we'll take care of that. So let me get this radiator thrown in, the fans plugged in, uh, and let's see what this complete engine bay actually looks like.
All right, my friends, everything is assembled at this point. We have upper lower radiator hoses on, radiator is in, battery is hooked back up. I did just test fuel pressure. As you can see, fuel pressure is good. We have no fuel leaks anymore, so everything seems to be in order right now. So uh, we're gonna do the first startup video in the next one. You guys already knew I was gonna tell you that anyways, because uh, this video would just be extremely long and extremely drawn out if we uh, combined both of these videos. So, this is where we're ending it. But I'm like incredibly happy with the way that this engine bay turned out. I am extremely nervous to start this car, um, especially because I've never built heads like this before. So, I mean, I, I measured everything. I quadruple checked like everything as I was going through and building this. So everything should be spot on for this. But I'm like, this looks so much better. I'm really glad I took the time to like powder coat the intake manifold. This guy up here it just came out a lot better. So like I said, that's all I got for you guys on this one. Everything is ready to go at this point. Moment of truth in the next video. I'm extremely nervous, but um, I'm more than confident that everything is gonna be like super Gucci with this. So that's where I'm ending it. Sorry to leave you guys with a cliffhanger yet again, but you know I gotta do it. So if you guys like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button. Turn it whatever color it turns for you. I don't know what color. Black, blue, green, purple, red, uh, chartreuse. Matt, color of the day, what is it? It's always goldenrod. Goldenrod, color of the day, goldenrod. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up one of these corners. No idea which one I'll put it in quite yet, but you don't want to miss this car going to the dyno here in a couple days, assuming that the first start goes smoothly. Assuming everything goes smoothly. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!